Prostate cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in Australia. There are thousands of men currently undergoing treatment for prostate cancer. My name is Brian. 18 months ago, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I have teamed up with the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia to produce this video. One effective treatment for prostate cancer is hormone therapy. It stops the cancer growing by reducing testosterone levels. Unfortunately, hormone therapy has some side effects that make life difficult. Researchers at Edith Cowan University are using exercise therapy to reduce these difficult side effects. So Gary, how do you feel after starting your exercise program? I feel great after the uh, going to the gym because you know, when I get home I've still got lots of energy for uh, doing jobs around the house and uh, so doing brisk walks as well. Different treatments for prostate cancer cause different side effects. So exercise medicine needs to be specifically tailored for each patient. We have found that exercise allows men with prostate cancer to function well as it prevents the loss of muscle during treatment, thereby improving quality of life in men with localized prostate cancer. Furthermore, we also found that older men with prostate cancer who have completed treatment also do better in relation to their physical and health-related quality of life. In patients where the disease has spread to other parts of the body, targeted exercise will also be extremely beneficial to preserve physical function. More recently, our work has shown that highly specific weight-bearing exercise can actually maintain or improve bone health in men with prostate cancer. Whilst a lot of our work has shown that exercise can have highly specific effects, it's important to note that uh, most exercise types can actually improve fatigue. Certainly timing of exercise does matter. It is important to start exercise as soon as possible after diagnosis. We currently have two very large and very important trials ongoing. One looks at early stage disease and we're examining whether targeted exercise can actually delay the patient moving on to more active treatment. The other study is at the other end of the cancer spectrum. We are examining whether men with advanced prostate cancer who have targeted exercise actually improve their survival. Exercise medicine has the potential to improve the life expectancy for men with prostate cancer. There is exciting new research that shows how this might be happening. When exercise is appropriately designed and prescribed, it actually improves the effectiveness of the immune system. In particular, immune cells called natural killer cells directly fight the tumours by killing cancerous cells. Exercise helps to ramp up the abilities of the natural killer cells so that they seek out and destroy prostate cancer cells. Trials are ongoing. But the evidence to date is so strong that doctors and researchers are confident that this will dramatically change the way we treat prostate cancer patients in the future.